Hey everybody, this is Alex Merced, and it's another video on, well, data topics and, you know, being able to look at data and understand data and work with data and all that good stuff. If you've enjoyed these videos, make sure to hit like, subscribe, leave a comment, and uh, today what I want to talk about is being able to explore Parquet files in VS Code. So oftentimes what I'm doing is I am writing code, so basically, you know, I'll have all this data in Dremio, because basically we're talking about really, really large data sets. So Dremio becomes the way to handle those data sets, generally stored in Apache Iceberg tables. You create views. So then I may have a, a view on a subsection of that data, and then I may pull it down, load it into some Parquet files locally to do some additional ad hoc querying, or I can just query it directly from Dremio. But let's say I do have those Parquet files on my local machine. Uh, this cool extension here, Parquet Explorer, makes it really easy to go take a look inside what's those Parquet files. So in this case, I have this Parquet file here, weather data. And literally, if I, after installing this extension, I can just click on it, and it opens the screen. So I can see the content. So this is great if I'm writing Parquet files. So like if I'm writing, if I'm writing a a program that's going to do some sort of process for me that writes Parquet files, I can double check, hey, is it writing what I think? And then I can also just do some ad hoc querying here. This is all powered by an embedded uh, DuckDB. Uh, so in this case, I'll say, hey, select all from data, and I can just say, hey. Um, I want to select all data where the max temperature is greater than 60. Okay. And then what I can do is I can just literally click over here and it's going to recalculate that. And I should see here that none of these should be lower than 60. Okay. So I can go start running all sorts of different SQL. So again, really great if I can just try to look, do some quick ad hoc viewing of data in a particular single parquet file. Um, again, if I want to do joins, stuff like that, I probably, what I would do is maybe go to the polars, do those joins, and then write the results as Parquet, and then I can then browse the results here. Um, okay. Again, that's assuming that you want to write the Parquet locally. A lot of times, just keeping your data in your data lake house and querying your data from your data lake house is sufficient. But again, there are all those situations where we're going to have some ad hoc Parquet files locally, and this, uh extension makes life a lot easier when you just want to kind of just see what's in the parquet file and do a quick browse so i thought this was pretty cool so this is the video i'll see you later have a great day and enjoy 